Yeah, my name is Swaggy C. Nine years ago, I was super broke in college and came across financial literacy and day trading. I stopped playing college basketball, dropped out of school my senior year, and spent the next few years learning about the stock market, Forex, real estate, business, and anything that had to do with finances. I became a babysitter in Greenwich, Connecticut to pay my bills while trying to become a consistent trader. Over the next few years, I got on a few TV shows, lived in Prague, Czech Republic, and actually met a woman named Bailey on Big Brother, who I soon asked to be my wife on national TV. After returning to her hometown in Missouri, we rented a Penske truck and drove 33 hours and moved to Los Angeles. Instead of returning to TV, I retired in the prime of my career. It wasn't making me happy at all. Every time I was on a TV show, I knew that all I wanted to do was focus on day trading, business deals, and everything related to finances because that's what truly makes me happy. I ended up putting my all into finance and day trading and created several businesses. I also moved to Puerto Rico, met a bunch of amazing people, and had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful daughter named Alora Lee. Then I went to go live in Dubai, met more amazing people, launched some businesses, and had my son, baby swag. Now, with several different streams of income that generates millions, a healthy family of four, and an empire being built, I'm the happiest I've ever been. And the crazy part of all this is, I'm just getting started. Get for my wins. I need my hands. I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a son of 101, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. Here. I have been gone a very long time. I know, I know. It's been over a year and some change since I posted the last episode of Secure the Swag and all my YouTube comments and DMs are asking me, Swaggy, where are you and where is Secure the Swag? Well, I am here and Secure the Swag is what you're watching right now. And there's so much to update you on. First, I lived the childhood dream by going to WrestleMania with my wife. Number two, I still live in Puerto Rico, which is crazy because Every season of Secure the Swag, I moved someplace. And number three, I became a father to a beautiful young girl named Alora Lee, who is everything to me, the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. But you guys are probably wondering, what am I doing talking in front of a camera in a warehouse? Well, this is the exact same warehouse that I started my prop firm in. It's gonna be the same warehouse that I leave that prop firm and start a whole new prop firm that is bigger and better and more promising with better conditions for all the young traders and old traders out there in the world. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Secure the Swag. See you Season four! <laughs> I think I always had in the back of my mind that there's a chance that I could start another prop firm, but I didn't know how realistic it would actually be. It's a lot of work to start one, get it out there, put your name on something, and to be like, you know what, guys? We're not doing that, we're doing this. But I think longevity-wise, if we're still having this you know, company over the next five years and we plan on you know, it scaling all the way up and being one of the biggest firms out there. We have to do this now. Secure the bag's been open for two months now, three months now, and it's better to stop it now and do what we wanna do so we can focus on traders more than to just do what the board of directors wants to do and I just post YouTube videos. Again, I'm more hands-on on all my businesses. The Swaggy Academy, the Live Trend Lab, I'm very, very hands-on. I told them I'm very hands-on in the beginning. I told them I'm not like, these other uh, traders out here with prop firms who want you guys to do absolutely everything and we just make videos. No, like I want to be a part of the decision making. I want to be, you know, on the phone when it comes to, to servers just because I'm used to it, right? I'm used to talking to other companies and, and uh, pitching them and things like that to make, you know, my business the best that I could possibly make it. And to not be a part of that right now, it was weird. Mr. Beast said something the other day where he said he was closing down Beast Burgers um, and stopping it because he has no control of the quality of the burgers. He only did it during the pandemic to help, you know, local restaurants, small business owners make more money. But as time goes on, like, people are writing reviews, oh, my burger was this, my burger was that, and he has no control over the quality of it. And I kind of feel the same way. I have zero control over, 
you know, people's trading accounts, the conditions they're trading in, the spreads they have, and um, the challenges they're trading under, two-step, one-step pricing, I have no say over that. I can say it, but it usually gets shut down idea-wise, and it just didn't feel like mine no more. And so when traders will come to me, why is this going on? Why is this happening to my account? Why is this profit split going backwards? It's not me, but my face is on the brand. I felt like if that's the case, I have to you know, cut it clean right now, stop it, and move forward with my own, um, which is Primetime. And with Primetime, uh, I'm way more excited with this company than I was with Secure the Bag by far, because I, I make all the rules. So if anything goes wrong, yeah, you, gotta, you, you can blame me for that. If they go right, you can say, shout out to Spike for that. But I can do whatever I want at that point. And to have something in my control, I feel a lot more comfortable with the success of traders, or at least to be able to help with the success of traders and have more successful traders. Even though with Secure the Bag, we had a lot of successful traders. You've seen the interviews of uh, me interviewing traders as well, and a lot of people got paid out, but I want to be more and more involved. And with Primetime, a name like Primetime, you know, us being the biggest uh, YouTube channel in the space and uh, having the biggest course in the space two years ago, um, I think there's a chance that we can have the biggest prop firm in this space two, three, four years from now with uh, me and my team, with my influence and my background in trading, because like I said it before, a lot of these prop firms, none of the CEOs trade, I do. So with that belief from traders, um, knowing they can attain to be somebody like me, I think I can get there. It just starts with now, and I couldn't be more ready. I could not be more ready. So by the time you guys watch this, uh, we'll be fully out. So I hope it's going as well as I think it, it will. forward to here right now where I'm sitting right now this confession I'm doing right now is not Los Angeles California we have traveled all the way across the world to Dubai literally in Dubai right now this is the penthouse that I'm in recording for you guys right now and the company that I'm starting the new prop firm I'm starting will be based out here. We will have our headquarters out here in Dubai and a lot of factors came into play regarding that decision. So first things first, we went to Dubai, I want to say two months ago. It was me, my mother, my brother, my other brother, my wife, obviously Bailey, my daughter, Alora, um, Bailey's, you know, mom, Bailey's father. Like we had like the whole fam out here and we stayed out here. We stayed out here for a good two, three weeks and we loved it. It was the hottest time of the year but we absolutely loved it. I met with some advisors, some consultants, and um, kind of outlined everything, and it seemed like a, a, an absolute perfect match. Um, so fast forward to now, October, uh, went back home, and me and Bailey, you know, decided to figure out what we're doing for Laura's birth, right? And in doing so, we had to go to a hospital in Puerto Rico to get a checkup and we literally waited like seven hours just to be seen and our appointment was at 12 30 and we didn't get in until like 6 37 and it was just like beyond unbelievable that we had to wait that long and we just realized a few weeks prior Alora was sick you guys may not know this but Alora was sick august 1st on her actual birthday she was sick spending her birthday in the hospital and when i tell you we went into the dubai hospital and we were in and out within an hour right like we walked in we, we filled out our form, they, they brought us back in within the first three, four, five minutes, and then we talked to the doctor. And then the crazy part about Dubai is all these hotels, every, no hotel, excuse me, all these hospitals, every hospital here has a pharmacy downstairs. So when they prescribe something for Laura or Bailey or me, because I just got my ear, I had an ear infection, I just got prescribed something. You literally take an elevator downstairs to the first floor and you get your medicine. And in seeing how that process was, Bailey and I decided to give birth to our son out here in Dubai. So we will be out here for the next four months. And in doing so, it kind of ties it all into a full circle into me launching my new prop firm out here because the headquarters will be out here. My daughter will be giving birth out here. My son will be born here. So that is why I am currently in Dubai right now. I love it. Um, I, I'm meeting up with, with high level people out here, people in my industry, uh, a lot of traders, you know, believe it or not, I love the auto beach to death, but it's not a lot of people in my direct industry. And there's a lot of people out here in my direct industry out here. So it's been a, a beautiful time out here. 
And um, the next few episodes of Secure the Swag, you'll literally see me being in Dubai. It's literally all of them gonna be a Dubai edition. So um, I can't wait to update you guys on, on what we have in store. It's not the show. I live this way all the time, and I just don't really broadcast it unless it's on my YouTube channel. Um, but even then, that requires a videographer. I'm just traveling by myself. So right now, you guys are gonna take first class with me from Dubai all the way to New York. Um, I gotta go do some work for my charity. I think my bag is inside too. My charity, and then uh, my four companies. Um, five, I think. So I'm trying to multitask. Um, and then I'll be back in Dubai in like a week and a half, so I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. This is the private lounge for first class only. We get the board directly from this private lounge, which is pretty dope. I'm gonna show you guys how it is on the flight. There's a, a bar out there so you can get up and go to the bar. I don't drink, I never I just have alcohol in my life, of course. Um, there's a shower, um, so I usually take a shower before we land every time. Um, the food is, is great. I'll show you guys when we get there. Uh, you can order breakfast at midnight and dinner at 8 a.m. Depends on what you want. They, they really cater well to you. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a 14-hour flight. Um, it's no big deal. I just left Dubai uh, to go to Washington and then Washington, Puerto Rico. I want to say three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Um, so this is nothing. I sleep, I work, get to New York, be there for 10 days, do what I got to do for my charity and my businesses. I'll come right back. talking to you last few days no uh pressure or anything but we're kind of outside your house yeah and um wanted to see what we could do for you guys gold hearted is probably one of the most fulfilling things i will ever do um it's definitely so far uh, one of the most fulfilling things i've done and for those who don't know what it is i've launched um basically a charity to where people can go online uh, and apply uh, whatever you know issues they're having, whether it's homelessness, uh, medical bills, tuition, haven't seen their family in a long time, can't afford this, groceries, whatever it may be, you literally can apply and, t and tell us your story. And um, we will you know, choose which ones we want to help for this month, and then we'll go out and help them. Literally free. We, we are not asked for anything in return. It's literally free. Um, and that's a, a token of you know, appreciation for my, myself in a sense of, I told my younger self that whenever I got out of my situation, I would do something of this magnitude. Uh, so I am, so that's why this is not something that is, it's just like a free thing, just go online, just apply, right? Um, we got a lot of submissions. In month one, we got a lot a lot of submissions that it took us a, a long time to kind of go through. But I think a lot of people are applying with the mindset that they won't get chosen because the amount of people we done called and told them that, you know, we, we they done made the finals, which means like, the last 20 people that we're kind of uh, choosing from, they were shocked that we even read their submission. Like we're reading every single submission. And I will give you guys a little bit of appreciation. There's people out there who's like sending five paragraphs plus a video um, attached to their story so we can actually watch it and then read the whole paragraph. They're gonna be chosen more than somebody who literally writes one word. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who just wrote one word, right? Swag, help me, I'm dealing with this, that's it. And no video, nothing, just literally one sentence. I mean like seven words, that's it. Like at that point, there's no context, no nothing. Whereas there's other people out there who's writing out their whole life story without even the thought that they'd get chosen. And then we actually read it and we actually take it very, very seriously. And then even if they don't get chosen this month, we are looking at it for next month, right? We have a whole elaborate plan. I think that this is gonna be one of those things that is still gonna be, you know, here five years from now, but it's gonna be way bigger, bigger than me, right? Like initially the, the idea was for, you know, me to visit these places and, before I go there, I'm, I'm gonna interrupt myself and say there are some virtual givebacks, right? Like there's some places like, you know, Iran and Nigeria, people who are applying who I can't get to, 
every single month, right? I can obviously go to New York or, or Cali every month if I want to. So there will be some, there are virtual give backs. So I'm just sitting down, you know, calling people on FaceTime or Zoom and, um, and uh, doing a give back that way. This is one of those things where I say it's bigger than me in the sense of my initial thought was I'm gonna be visiting these places in New York, Cleveland and, and Florida and doing these give backs in person. And I am, but it's gonna be bigger than me than where I'm gonna have a whole team and I don't want you guys to get in the wrapped in the mindset that I'm gonna meet Swaggy C and Swaggy C and yada 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 um, because it may be a situation to where more than likely I may be in Florida doing a give back for Gold Harder and then my brother or somebody else on my team or my wife or cousin, whoever it may be, um, will have you know somebody from my team, like a, a videographer or somebody with them in a random part in, in the world, and they will be doing it in person. They will be giving you, you know, the five thousand dollars, the ten thousand dollars, the two thousand, whatever you guys request. That they'll be doing that. So I don't want you guys to get wrapped in the mindset of so I can see it's not here. Get wrapped in the mindset that I'm going to get help, and uh, that is the whole goal with uh, Gold Harder. So um, I just wanted to kind of outline to you guys exactly what we've been doing, what we're going to continue to do. So obviously in the up coming secure the swipes you guys are going to continue to see uh gold hearted how it plays out who we're helping and that these stories are real literally we're showing up to people's houses after they submit their story and we're surprised them so uh, i look forward to continuing to do this and i hope you guys enjoy um as many as we do on gold hearted and by the way if you guys aren't following the uh, youtube channel please follow the gold hearted youtube channel um because i don't think i'll be posting every single gold hearted give back on my main channel it has to have a separate channel a separate entity a separate company um and it's something that i wanted to grow on its own without my uh without me uh being the forefront of it even though i will be the forefront for for a very long time so later guys decided to just bring her to Ikea and let her pick out whatever she wants. Yes, sir. So uh, hopefully you see a lot of happiness today. Um, you see a person finally getting the things that they want, not only from herself, but for her two kids. And that's the most important thing is she's protected and those kids who have barely started any part of their lives yet at least have a chance to grow up and be whoever they want to be. So, perfect. Yes, you can keep it. You can keep it. <laughs>
well, well, well after the fact. It's just the knowledge coming from my brain onto, uh, onto you guys so you guys can see it. But when you guys are, are watching it live, you guys can decide for yourself, this is what's going on, this is his exact reaction. He's calm, he's cool, he's happy, he's sad, whatever the case may be. And then, you know, the, the, the biggest reason is that I want a, the, a huge track record um, for myself so that, you know, a decade from now, when I start a hedge fund, I, I have the ability to, you know, have this track record that there is video proof of me going from here to here. Like I said, at this point, my Facebooks can be altered. Everything can be altered now and You can't alter a, a live stream. You can alter a video. You can edit a video. You can cut things out. You cannot alter live streaming services or videos. Um, so I'm looking forward to to embarking on this challenge. As you guys already know, by well, the time Secure the Swag comes out, you guys will watch this, you're already, you're already started. But from January 1st to December 31st, we are embarking on the craziest challenge that nobody in this industry has ever done. And I don't think will be replicated after I've done it. Maybe it will, people copy me all the time. Um, but I, I, I'll be happy to say I'm the first to do it. Out of all the industry legends that we have, and everybody that looks up to this person, this person, this person, Swaggacy did this first and he excelled at it. Uh, that, that definitely has a, a nice ring to it that I'm looking forward to. So. I hope you guys enjoy the challenge. Fast forward to here, right now. Guys, 365 is better than I even thought it would ever be. I did not have this vision um, December 16th when I launched. I thought it would be crazy, but not this crazy, right? We're two months in, haven't lost a single trade yet. Everybody's happy. People are passing phase one accounts, phase two accounts, getting funded, withdrawn from their personal accounts. It's crazy how fast 365 is growing. And somebody made a comment to me in my last webinar and said, 365 has changed my life so much in the two months that I've been here that if you guarantee that you'll be here for year two, I'll commit to Swaggy 730 right now. And that completely caught me off guard, right? Completely, because I've always said, I'm only doing this for one year. That was not marketing or clickbait or it was, I was dead serious. I want to do this for one year. I thought it'd be super, super crazy, but to show all your live trades for a full, full year, track record, grow a small account to 100K, right? To do that, I thought that'd be pretty, pretty stressful. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it for one year and then I'm going to focus on business after that. It hasn't been stressful. I've been cool, calm, we've been chilling, we've been making money, relaxing, right? We've just been having fun, right? So I'm officially committing to doing year two of 365, which puts it officially at Swaggy 730, right? For 2024, you can go to 365swaggy.com. But for 2025, especially during my birthday launch, because technically right now, as we speak, as I'm doing this confessional, it is technically my birthday weekend, and this is my birthday launch. Go to 730swaggy.com and you'll see the year two pre-signups, which is on a ridiculous birthday discount, but it is my birthday and I do a birthday launch every single year. It's the fifth annual, the fifth annual birthday launch that I've ever done while being a mentor and a teacher, right? We got the price instead of $1,800 for the year, instead of $900 for the year. It is simply this for the year. 217 for the entirety of year two. My birthday is 217. I don't even think you guys even thought this would even happen, right? Why would I drop an annual price to 217 for 365, which is a crazy, crazy platform? It's my fifth annual launch from being a mentor and a teacher to you guys, and I feel it's only right to do this right now during these next two weeks, two weeks only, to do this because next year, that price is going up. It is not 217 for next year once next year comes. This is right now. This is a pre-sale for next year people told me to do it. I can't wait to continue to grow 365 with you guys, which will, which has officially turned into 730. Guys, thank you for watching the first episode of Secure the Swag season four. It's a lot that happens, a lot that we got in store for you for the remainder of this year. I just want to take the time to say, uh, we are in year four, so obviously we're in season four, um, and it's been a journey, you know, starting from Secure the Spice season one, uh, being in that circa, uh, you know, one bedroom, all the way into the circa penthouse, you know, all the way into Puerto Rico, to uh, now we're living in Dubai. Um, it, it just changes, it just, I just love where life takes us uh, every single year.
Um, I, I just love the changes in the journey that's being made. Currently, right now, by the time we're filming this, I don't know when you guys will see it, but by the time we're filming this, my wife is due to give birth in about two and a half weeks uh, out here in Dubai. So I'm, I'm excited to uh, to have my, my son, have a son and a daughter, uh, two of them. Um, but uh, for the rest of you guys out there, like I said, with uh, the prop firm we got going on, um, with the, the challenge for the remainder of this year of streaming uh, our trades going on, with Gold Heart of the Charity going on, um, we have a lot, a lot that is at some store. And we're not done yet. I still have two more major announcements that's coming out that is gonna be crazy. It's crazy because I spent my first two to three years just doing one thing, the Swag Academy, that's it. And in the last two years, I've done more, I've launched more, I've, I've, I've grown more and I've shown more. Um, so you guys may see it as a shock that I got a prop from here and then something in February, something in March. And it's like, nope, we're coming out with them back to back to back because why not? Why, why am I gonna wait eight months to come up with something else? I'm just gonna come up with it as, a, as I have the idea and as it's being created. And if you guys love it, you guys love it. If you don't, you don't. But I'm going to throw it out there because life's too short to be holding on to stuff. I, I did that in 2021 where I was a shell of myself because of uh, certain incidents. I just didn't post at all. Not doing that no more. So I'd never do that again. Um, so like I said, appreciate you guys for watching episode one. And uh, I'll see you guys on episode two. Later. I secure the bag, I secure the bag. I secure the swag, I secure the swag. We gon' go up till we up with the moon. Two dogs, one wife, and she paid two. Used to ball on the court, now I ball to the bank. Every day hitting trades, round my way. I go till I hit a hundred M's. Turn those millions to billions. I secure the bag, I secure the bag. I secure the swag, I secure the swag.